Okay, folks, I'm back with another video and some groovy Atari PlayStation Pro music. And I wanted to show you iRobot in its entirety. I was really good at the game. I think I was nervous when I did the review video, which I'll put a link in the description if you never saw my review of the Atari Game Station Pro. Plus, I haven't played the game in a decade or two. So, we're going to take a closer look at iRobot. And did anybody ever play this game in the arcades? Anybody ever beat this game? Because I just find it fascinating, so advanced, three-dimensional. I uh, love how vibrant and colorful it is. So let's look into the About Me a little bit. It was an arcade game, came out in 1983, and that's what the cabinet looks like, which I love how this Game Station Pro shows you the cabinets of the arcade machines. So the description is, iRobot is a groundbreaking and innovative game that combines 3D graphics with platforming action. As a humanoid robot, navigate through futuristic levels, battling enemies and solving puzzles. I like it. So it kind of reminds me of Crystal Castles, guys, in the sense where you had to go over, you know, little mazes, little colors, change the colors you know, and avoid obstacles. In this game, you have to avoid birds and obstacles, and you have to, the, the eye shoots laser beams at you, you know, so it's just really cool. But let's go into it a little bit and play the game. So let's put some quarters in the machine. There it is, iRobot. I like it. Actually, that was Smash TV. Big money, big prizes. I love it. That was another cool game in the arcade. Early 90s, probably right before I got done playing the arcades. And they actually disappeared soon after, unfortunately. So here we go. We got to get on all the red. We can shoot the birds. And when the eyes open, don't jump. And it actually gives you clues, which is neat. It says we need 30 reds. See, I jumped and the eye was open. Too busy talking, not enough playing. But I'm going to do a lot better now, guys. So you're fine on land. It's when you jump that the birds can get you and the eye can get you. But you can shoot the birds. Eight reds left. Bam. Just did it. So now we can jump to the head of the table. And shoot the eye and BAM! Level 1 completed, just like that. So this is still part of level 1. It's kind of like a maze with boulders and stuff and they can kill you. So I just stay in the middle and just shoot. And you can do this for the first few times. It does eventually get harder. But I'm here to land on the puzzles. Now again, this is a little harder. Now we got all these jumps. It does blink to tell you where to go, in case you're not sure. So look at it. we're already down to nine. The eye was lit, so I didn't jump. Jump for the birdies. Just like the Hitchcock movie, when those birds start moving. Oh, that was kind of close, guys. There's the eye again. Uh-oh. Almost done. Did I get it? Bam! There we go. Level two complete. Happy little robot. And we can still stay in the middle. We don't need all the bonus points. I already have the highest score. But again, look how advanced this game looks for 1983. And now we have transporters. We can actually change levels. This is crazy. Select level with joystick. Fire when ready. Look, level five, level four. Let me show you a different level five, even though I probably won't last too long. But look at this. Now we got these big balls that you have to avoid. And I got hit by the eye and the ball, I think. I can beat this level, guys, level five. But I gotta watch out for the balls. They're pretty big. They look like 20-sided Dungeon Dragon dies. Got it, guys. Look. Now all I have to do is get to the front, jumped over the ball, and got the eye. Bam! 
And I got a transporter bonus, 20 grand. All right, let's see if I can stay to the right. I've actually never got this far because I was trying not to warp because I wanted to enjoy every level, but I got tempted and I wanted to show you that level, which is pretty neat with the Dungeons and Dragons dice. Anybody play Dungeons and Dragons back in the day? I used to. It's a good time being the barbarian. And then later I was the dungeon master for my friends. All right, so I've actually never played this level. We need, wow, they're shooting other little balls at me now. Look at this. And it started at 62, I'm down to 40. Uh, and you can't jump over these because they're too high, so. Yeah, it got me. All right, I think I got, oh, that was it. And now I got a new high score. So you guys got to witness my new high score. And this joystick is sensitive for the high score. I want to make sure I get my name in there. I don't understand. I tap it and it goes like three steps. So I'm not going to be able to get it. Up. Oh. All right, if I can get the Y, there we go. 30 grand. So what did you guys think of iRobot? Did you enjoy the video? Let's do a bonus game, maybe. Why not? We'll go back to the home page. And we'll do another arcade game. I probably will do a Major Havoc one in its entirety, but just wanted to show you a little bit. How about a little Millipede as a little bonus game for you guys? Millipede was a pretty cool game. A step up from Centipede. Things get a little crazy in this. A lot of things moving, a lot of bugs, a lot of spiders. All right. So now you can see we actually have an arrow we can shoot. We actually have some explosive DDTs. If you remember, Jake the Snake Roberts did a lot of DDTs in wrestling. So that's pretty cool how they're in this game. The green zone is how high you can go and how low you can go. I know I'm going to get hit soon. All right, come on. Alright, so I'm not doing too good. It is harder when you're playing the game and talking. And the spider got me. But again, just a bonus game. There we go. The DDT knocked them all out. Jake the Snake would be proud. So did anybody play? Centipede or Millipede? I did like how I had the trackball. And you could play that. In the arcades. Actually, Marvel Madness. Marvel Madness was probably my favorite game with the trackball. That game was marvelous. Got the spider. Come on, one left. Got it. Up. Oh, see, now it's getting a little crazy. But don't get scared. Well, I didn't get any, I don't think. At least I didn't die. Ah, there we go. There's the home runner Dukes of Hazard noise. Here we go. I'm actually doing pretty good, guys. And gals. And gamers. Until I got cocky and said I was doing good. Alright, one more guy. Wow. Everything's moving lightning quick like Shazam. Yeah, but that was just another bonus game. Millipede. Pretty cool. Alright, folks. So hopefully you enjoyed the video and, and I introduced you to iRobot, which was my main goal. Because I do love iRobot. But please give my video a thumbs up. Any comments, leave in the comment box below. And subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that notification bell. I do appreciate it. Signing off and game on.